Hey, this is Dr. Corey Glenn, and I'm going to show in this video a technique that is really useful for helping expedite the process of an immediate conversion. So think of the case where maybe you're placing four to six implants and you intend to use their existing denture as the conversion prosthesis. Make holes in it, pick up the titanium cylinder, and then remove the flanges, clean up the underside. And so that is the traditional way of doing an immediate conversion. The downside to that is that typically if you're not doing this guided, you don't know where the implants are going to end up. And thus for this pickup, you have to trough out a tremendous amount of the acrylic until you find the, uh, the places where your implants are emerging through. It ends up being a really weak prosthesis simply because you have to salt and pepper all of that back together generally requires a lab tech being present to uh, make this thing not look terrible. And so this just allows for a much more precise uh, way of doing this. Now the prerequisite obviously is that you do need to do this guided, but if we know that the implants are going to be guided and thus know where they're going to end up, then it's going to allow us to make for a much smaller pickup hole and a much cleaner conversion. So in this case, we've done the dual scan. If you're not familiar with that, there's a video on um, my YouTube channel of using the patient's existing denture as a scan appliance. Basically, patient comes to you, they've got an acceptable denture or you make them an acceptable denture. Uh, you scan the patient wearing that denture with some radiographic markers on it. That's what you're seeing here, here, here and then you would take the denture out and you would do a second cone beam scan of that denture by itself and the blue sky software allows us to integrate those two it will digitize their denture and create an stl surface out of their denture in this case you can see i've pulled in the upper and lower and this really is the way that cases ought to be done because you can now do your prosthetic planning from the ideal tooth position backwards. You can verify that your cylinders are going to be in the bulk of acrylic or if you're an overdenture, your housing, all of those things. So if you need to revisit that video, uh, that's certainly something you can do. So once we've done this, you would simply need to turn on your surgical guide tubes. Uh, and in this case you can see that I've done that. If you can't see those I can turn on the transparency a bit. There are my guide tubes and in this case unlike a traditional tooth borne guide we don't have an STL surface to build a guide on so what we do instead is make a scan appliance guide. Uh, this is what's known as a scan appliance that you're seeing right here. It has the radiographic markers and so once we've planned the implants, turned on the guide tubes, and in this case I'm using the Blue Sky Bio fully guided surgical kit, we can simply push this button that says create scan appliance guide. We've selected this purple model right here. So let's generate that surgical guide. And now you see the result. Uh, both of these are turned on right now, which is why you see one superimposed over the other. So if I turn off the denture, now you can look at this and you can see the surgical guide that was generated. And it is just an exact duplicate of the patient's uh, starting denture, obviously a soft tissue supported guide. And so this is why it's very important that the uh, guide or the uh, denture fit very accurately when you do the scan because your surgical guide is never gonna fit any better than what the original denture did. If you have any little pieces sticking up like this, you can easily remove those. But now the question comes, okay, so we're, we're doing this uh, guide and uh, this is going to place the implants accurately, but now how can we make the transition uh, the, or the transitional prosthesis uh, easier to fabricate? Well, there's, there's several ways of doing this. There's no one right answer of what's best, but one option is you could just simply look at this and then just freehand those holes, take a burr, drill through in this spot, this spot, this spot, and this spot on their existing denture. But that's no fun. I mean, if we're guiding, let's go ahead and do this a little more precisely. So what I'm going to do is actually make a surgical guide, which we're going to place on the patient's uh, denture. And we're actually going to do guided surgery on the patient's denture. So if you go into your implant list panel, you're going to see that the uh, surgical guide has been fabricated. The guide tubes were all uh, set based on what we have here, which is the Blue Sky Bio fully guided surgical kit. But if you are in advanced mode in surgical guide right here, you do have manual control over all these numbers. So let's, let's change what's known as the offset. That is the vertical positioning of the guide tube. And I'm gonna make it a really large number. We'll put in 22 here. 
software is going to wear you that you're deviating from the recommended settings, but we're going to do that intentionally here. And now you can see my tube has moved way up here above the actual denture, and I'm going to apply those same settings to all of the guide tubes by just clicking apply to all. Now the tubes are up, they are actually higher than the actual denture itself, and now what we could do is go back to the guide panel, select our model, and let's build a surgical guide directly on this. And the way that you would use this is that the patient would come in for surgery, um, you could begin numbing them up, they take out their uh, denture, which was used to make this scan appliance originally, and you can get them numbed up, get them put to sleep, whatever, do your guided surgery on their actual jaw, um, while at the same time they remove that denture, give it to your assistant who can go in the other room and actually perform a guided surgery on their denture. It's not a surgery per se, but they can just use the guided drills to precision mill the holes in that denture. So in a case like this, if I know that my titanium cylinder and my multi-unit abutment, let's, let's just say it's a uh, four and a half millimeter diameter um, that I'm going to need for a pickup hole. Well, I would just take the final drill maybe for a 5.0 implant and uh, make my guide uh, to be used with that. And here you see the final result. And now this could simply be taken, seated on their denture, use the exact same guided drills, and it's going to create precision milled holes right in the position that we uh, expect for the final uh, prosthetic titanium temp cylinder to emerge through that denture. And the result is now we don't have a denture that's been troughed out and the strength really reduced that we have to worry as much about it breaking uh, during the process and it just expedites that entire pickup process, process tremendously because again we're not guessing. Uh, once you've made these holes it's going to just be a piece of cake to um, fill that up with acrylic, clean up the underside, and then send them on their way. So I hope you find this useful.